Yes, yes, there have been more arrivals. You're looking, I think, at um, a ewe with two little ones that are probably Charles. Charles, how, how old would those they, ones be? They would have been born in the night. Uh, yeah. Do, oh, yeah. Overnight. overnight yes. And if you yeah. look at the flock, yeah. we're trying to get close yeah. to them, but of course, the, the closer we move, the more they move away. And we've come out into the grassland now because this is where most of the ewes give birth. That's out right, Out in yes. the open, not in lambing sheds, are they? No, here no, at mainly outside in the buildings, uh, in the fields, yeah. 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 And here at Blenheim Palace at the farmland, how many, just, just reiterate for us, Charles, how many ewes have you got up here? OK, so there's 1,700 lambing this time. Good Lord. Yeah, and you're expecting... Had. Around 3,000 lambs, yeah. I still yeah, can't get my head around <laughs> how you keep track of everything well, and it's, how it's, it's, it works. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's just the nature of our job. We, we get to know where the sheep are and what what to do with them and, and keep track of them. Now, we'd hoped to see perhaps a, a live lambing happening. I know. Because, again, if we keep moving over here, can we get a little bit closer? Because how many shepherds do you have working for you to alert you when something is about to happen? Well, there's six of us on all the time. There's, yeah. there's three working out in the fields and um, the others are in, in the buildings looking after the ones in there. They're the adoptions and the, the troublesome ones get taken into the buildings as well. Because so. if everything goes according, it's just, it just happens naturally. You don't have to worry about we don't them. They worry take about care them. of themselves. They, they lamb and they get on with it. Yeah. Um, but just... how do you keep an eye on the ones that aren't happy, that, that well, they're where there are problems? Well, you, they, there's telltale signs that there's something wrong, so then we have to catch them and intervene and whatever we need to do but that. you've got people on alert you're all sort of up during yeah, the night yes keeping yeah, each yeah. other informed yes yeah, yeah there's people on 24 yeah. hours a day doing it so how many different types of breeds do you have here at blenheim we, the ewes are all scotch mules so that's one type right and the rams are, are the charolais so that that's and are it. they are they bred for keep your ears shut here <laughs> are they bred for wool or for meat and for meat yes okay yes. okay yeah that's what that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and how long have there been sheep being reared here well, at, at Blenheim? I think ever since Capability Brown landscaped the gardens and the parkland, the yeah. sheep have been here ever so since. So we're talking so, over 200 yeah, years? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. long it's time. It's absolutely beautiful. And they're just, they're just fed on the natural grass. They just land, live on the grass. Organic. They're, they're, yeah, it, it is, yeah. They, we're completely a grass-fed system, yeah. so... What's your favourite part about the job, Charles? Oh, my favourite part. This time of year, lambing. Yeah, Just yeah. seeing all the new life. Well, keep going with it. You can come and visit and go on a lamb buggy, a yes. Lamborghini tour. A lamb uh, buggy you'll never tour. get as quite as close as this. Not no, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you both very much. Thanks, Charles.